Okay guys, so this video is going to be kind of like some information about how I do certain things with my crutches. Um, but before I show you that, I wanted to tell you a little bit about what I have for my crutches. So these hand pads and then this like armpit pad are both by Vibe and they were like $12 or $13 on Amazon. They are very um, padded which is awesome and makes like such a big difference. And then this little guy is also by Vibe. This was the first one I got. It's really really nice for like my phone. Um, and I actually have enough room to put my phone backwards in here and have my flashlight facing out at night if I need to go use the bathroom so that I can see they don't trip over anything with my crutches. Nice um, and then I can fit bigger things in here like my wallet and things like that for doctor's appointments. And this guy I just got the other day. This is by Crutchies and it has a lot of stretch to it. So I can fit like my bigger water bottles in here and um, other random things that I need to get up or down the stairs um, or just like have with me. Yeah, I think that's all about my crutches. Oh, so these, all of like the, the vibe things are washable, which is really nice because um, being on crutches is pretty much a workout for me. So I'm sweating constantly. Um, so it's really nice to know that like you can wash these. <sighs> yeah, so first I'm gonna show you guys how I get up from a sitting position. Um, right now I'm non-weight bearing on my left leg. So that means I can put no weight on it. Um, my cast is a fiberglass cast, um, and it is purple right now. Try to show that to you guys. It's kind of also loose at the moment because my swelling has gone down. Um, yeah, so fiberglass cast, and I get it changed about every two weeks right now. Um, probably because of the swelling, just to make sure it's like tight enough, and then also to clean my um, incisions. So yeah. Um, so whenever I'm getting up from a sitting position, I have both of my crutches in my left hand because my left leg is the one I can't put weight on. So I'm going to put my weight one through my arm on my crutches. And I have them close together, not far apart, just so they're stable and I'm not going to fall over. Um, so obviously all of my weight has to go on my right leg because I can put any on my left leg. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else to say about that. So pretty much just stand up using your right leg. Um, as you can see, my left leg is like resting on the ground right now because it does get tiring holding it up. Um, some muscle back there, I forget what it's called. It gets very sore from me holding my leg like this or this constantly. So when I can, I just like rest it on the ground like that. And then, and then I'm going to, also, again, like, this whole time, all my weights in my right leg, so, um, yeah, put both my crutches under my armpits, when they're stable, they're not going to be like this, they need to be, like, evenly distributed, and then, yeah, it's also really important to have your crutches at the right height, because if they're too tall for you, um, or, like, too short, they're going to be really uncomfortable, and you're not going to be as stable when you are walking and doing certain things. So first I'll show you guys how I get up and down the stairs. And actually the day of my surgery, I had to practice stairs. It was just a little platform thing that you can see, I believe in my first video. Um, and then the day after my surgery, they made me do a full flight of stairs up and down on my crutches. So um, that was really awful, <laughs> but it taught me. Um, I will say at home, I usually go down the stairs on my butt because I am more comfortable that way and I feel a lot safer, especially when I'm home alone. Um, I don't need to worry about falling. And it just makes me feel safer to go down on my butt, but I do go up like normally, as normal as you can on crutches. So I'll show you guys how I do that now. Also, this floor right here by my front door is like a linoleum so you need to be careful with any like wet kind of surface um your crutches will like seriously slide really bad and you will fall so make sure it's not wet before you're like walking on things like that um so when i go up and down the stairs i put both of my crutches underneath of my left arm because again it's my left leg that my left ankle that's broken and i'm going to use both of the I can go for my one hand, and it is a stretch. My hand's not that big, um, but that's just how you've got to do it. So I'm going to start off with my, the crutches really close to the steps, 
then when I get tired, and I do get tired like halfway through, I'm also talking a lot right now, um, you'll see me probably use the railing more like in the second half than I do in the first half. You can literally just jump and like use your crutches and the railing for stability, but whenever I get more tired, I will like lift my body up with my arms on the crutches and the railing. So, let's use supervising. So, here we go. And then I need to make sure, so like sometimes because again, it's hard for me to grab right here, before you go up the next step, make sure they're close and not like wide because that's not as stable. So then the top of the stairs are always more tricky, I think, because the railing ends sooner than I would like it to. If it was up here further, that would be easier for me. Um, so I kind of have to put my hand like on the very edge of it and hoist myself up. And then I actually just lean against the wall like this um, so I can get my crutches figured out, make sure they're nice and even underneath of my armpits. And then I go from there go down the stairs this black little guy um I actually have like extra sheets and things like that in there and it's typically in our bedroom but because I'm hurt right now we have it out here by the stairs and again because I go down on my butt it makes it easier to go from a standing position all the way down um so I sit on this first and then I sit on the stairs and then go down from there so I make sure it fits in front of it Bring both my crutches to my right side to go down. Again, hold them close so I can just hold them with one hand. And then I'm gonna sit down on this guy. And then, so like, to get from this block, whatever you wanna call it, to the floor, I put my right foot down on the first step and my crutches. Um, and then I go slowly down with my hand and you want to make sure like if you're scooting down on your butt your foot is your broken foot is out in front of you so it's not it's not going to hit the steps because that's not going to feel very good so i just pretty much go down like this and then like halfway through i want to make sure i um make sure these are stable and not flopping all over the place and i pretty much just keep scooting down until I get to the last step. And I typically like to use the momentum from me going down to help me stand up. Make sure you're stable. And then get your crutches underneath of your armpits. Again, make sure they're centered or you'll probably fall. Um, and then the way I go down, obviously it's just one step and this is how you are gonna go down all stairs. I put the crutches down first and make sure your broken ankle or leg or whatever is out, not back. Because if it's back, it's going to slam on that step and you do not want that. So out, down, and then you're going. Okay guys, so this scooter is a knee rover. I believe it's what it's called. Um, and it's like the knee rover go hybrid version. My aunt actually was nice enough to get this for me and it's going to be really helpful when the semester starts back again um so i can just take my book bag right in here uh and go and it's supposed to be like all terrain because it snows here a lot in the winter so <laughs> we'll test that out one day but so right now you just want to have your broken ankle or leg up one this like seat cushion thing and we actually did get get like the cushion for it and again this makes a really big difference um it's padded so that your knee doesn't hurt as bad before when i first got it i was just putting my knee like the part of my knee on the seat that does not have my cast on it and it's really uncomfortable so now i've started trying to put more of my cast on it that also feels really odd because while your cast is like pushing against your leg where it wouldn't be typically. Um, yeah. So, break, 
very handy and this basket I actually just got the other day um, and that's really nice especially for when I'm home alone if I'm trying to get like fill up my water bottle or get food or something I can sit in here and bring it into the living room which is like where my whole setup is um yes it's also nice because my whole kitchen floor is like a linoleum type of floor and if I get like a drop of water on that I will fall on my crutches so it makes me feel a little bit better like going into the kitchen knowing I'm not gonna really fall that easily so yeah you can't use it like you would any other scooter but here we go And then this bump, I always try to lift my knee up a little bit because the bump does not feel pleasant for my ankle at all. And then I just go around after those. And then I can go. Okay guys, um, I'm going to show you also how I get in and out of the shower with my cast and I have like a shower chair in there um, before I end this video. So in this bathroom, I usually put one crutch here and then the other one over here. And then I sit down on the toilet and this is when I would usually be wrapping my leg up. I'm gonna keep like trash bags and tape and scissors back there to do so. So then how I get into the shower and out, it's very like not elegant, but that's just like the easiest way for me to do it. I'm sure there's an easier way, but that's just what I do. So I pretty much like pick my body up with my hands and put my butt on my shower chair and then swing my good leg in and then this leg would be wrapped in a cast and then I literally just sit up here the whole time and do what I need to do and then when it's time to get out I have my towel sitting already on the toilet so I can grab it try like half of my body and then um, I get out so again not very graceful but so I put my good foot here and then again like with my hands just move my body over and I sit kind of like in between the two for a second just so I can like not fall and then I do that then I cut my bag off finish right now Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this, um, got something out of it. Let me know what you guys would like to see next in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can see more of what I post. Have a good day, guys.